AutoCAD 2011's many new and enhanced tools for surface modeling include the ability to create procedural surfaces which are associated with their defining geometry. In this example, we're designing a case for an electric shaver using a combination of spline curves and surface edges to create associative surfaces. You can use the new Network Surface tool to create a surface between a network of curves even if the curves are not coincident. The Loft tool has been improved, allowing you to select not only profile curves, but sub-objects of existing 3D geometry. Using the edge of an existing surface with surface associativity enabled, you can control the continuity between the surfaces. Even if you create the loft surface without specifying continuity, you can change it using the continuity grip that displays when you select the surface. A similar loft grip allows you to change the type of loft and, depending on the option you specify, additional grips provide direct manipulation of properties such as the draft angle. These controls are also available in the Properties palette. In addition to establishing associativity between surfaces, the Surface Associativity Control allows you to establish an association between the new surface and its defining geometry. For example, if you create a loft surface using only splines as opposed to surface edges, the loft surface does not provide continuity controls because there's no surface for it to be continuous with. However, it is still associated with the defining splines. If you edit the splines, the surface automatically updates to reflect the changes. To complete the surfaces for the shaver case, we can use the new Patch Surface tool. It creates a cap using edges that form a closed loop. Patch surfaces support surface associativity, enabling you to specify the continuity between surfaces. You can further adjust the shape of the patch surface using the bulge magnitude.